Hey, welcome to Facebook Live. Trainer Joe here. Let's talk about it for a minute. Should you be obsessed with weight loss? 2020 is coming. You're going to have New Year's resolutions. What's the best approach to this? Would it make sense for you to become obsessed with losing weight? Well, the word obsessed has a negative connotation to it, right? It's negative. You're obsessed. It's obsessive. It's it's not good to be obsessed about things in general, right? Well, let's look at it this way. Should you be obsessed about repairing the hole in a sinking ship? What I've found is that when it comes to weight loss... A lot of people are obsessed with making sure they don't get obsessed to the extent it ain't getting done. Because we don't want to be unbalanced and care too much. Really, an obsessed person usually is just somebody that cares more than you. So they look obsessed. Sometimes there's a fine line between being obsessed and doing it right. We have become so obsessed as a culture with, hey, it's fine, it's a red light, but it just means slow down. No, you must stop. Weight loss is like, hey, whatever. No, you must not eat excessively on a regular basis. Don't. Does that seem obsessive? And, and another reason that I think we struggle with that is because we have been unhealthy in the way we've done things in the past. So we, we go way over, we, we overswing on the other side and suddenly I've got a guy I'm working with now and he's working out, he's going to the mall and he's walking. He's not used to exercising and he's like, Joe, I go every day and he's hitting it hard and he's like, I'm nervous if I miss, you know, that I'll keep missing. So I can't miss. And he seems obsessed. What do you want to do? I don't worry about it. You miss, you miss. He ain't walked in 10 years. And now he's not missed a day in 30 days. I would love for you to have a super wonderful, healthy balance. But we're flawed beings. And to get it perfect, good luck with that. I would say, let's say you're late for work a lot. And your boss says, don't be late again or else. Should you be obsessed about being on time? Do you want a job? We're obsessed about not being obsessed because we want an excuse for our weight not turning out the way we'd like it to and for not getting it done. And then we say, well, you know, I, this person was obsessed and they became anorexic. Certainly we don't want to become anorexic. And it's interesting because my wife and I were talking to somebody once who who struggled with eating disorders. And after talking with her for a little bit, my wife said, wow, it just sounded like she was very disciplined. So there is this, am I just disciplined or am I obsessed? And it can be tricky. Because many times doing it correct seems, well, that's obsessive. No, that's how you do it. When you come to a red light, you stop. You know, well, that's obsessive. So I don't mean to say that there's there's no issue in life with being obsessed with something. There is. But when it comes to losing weight and you've got a hole in your boat, to give it proper attention for a lot of people seems you're obsessed. You never miss a walk. You never eat this. You never eat after that time. They're doing it right. It's working. You've seen the guy with the shirt, and he's got the big belly, and he says, I beat anorexia. I don't mean to make light of that, but it's like to, to do it correctly can seem he's too into it. What's the greater risk for you in 2020? That you're going to be obsessed with losing weight, or you're going to keep doing the casual approach? How has the casual approach been working for you? A lot of times we feel like, I just need to relax. I've mentioned here before the girl that said, Joe, I was just wanting balance in my life, but it kept meaning I was going to be 50 pounds overweight. You don't need balance. 
You ready to get obsessed? Get obsessed with me in 2020, and let's finally get it done. Join us January 4th. We've got two kickoffs. They're free. One's at Strong Shop at 1 o'clock, Saturday, January 4th. We've got one earlier in the morning at First Christian Church in Versailles, 10 a.m. They're both for free. Let's get obsessed.